box and shoe. I'm not going to hear now. My son, I can see you are doing very well. Yes, ma. Is it not this work that you just started? And look at how far you have gone. You are a hard working boy, and I commend you for that. Mama, just give me a little time. Just a little time. I'll be done. Yeah? Just give me some more time. I'll finish it. You mean you will soon finish everything now, now? Mama. Action speaks louder than voice. If I, there's no problem. When you finish working, hmm, just come to the house. Are you hearing me? Okay. I have some money to give to you. Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Mama, wait. I'm open. Follow me to the house of all. <laughs> Mama, prepare it for me. It's what I like most. <laughs> Ifani, 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 you don't need to tell me. I know you too well, and I know what you want. <laughs> tell you is this. You see, in this life, anybody that struggles and work very hard, God in heaven never forsakes the person. He always blesses them and always pave way for you and make sure that you move forward in life. You are a hard-working boy. I want you to continue in your hard work. Are you hearing me? I want you to continue. Don't look at anybody's face. Because God will surely bless you, my son. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. Thank you very, very much. Eh? Welcome, <laughs> hey, some other thing. You see all these young boys in this village that goes about looking for somebody's property to steal. Hmm? I don't ever want you to be part of them. Don't join them in doing this evil thing that they are doing. I don't want you to be part of them. I don't want you to join them. I want you to continue in your own way. Don't look at them in any way. Are you hearing me? Okay, Mama. Well, I need to trust me. Trust me on that. I will never, uh -huh. never join them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good boy! That's why you are talking. 
talking. <laughs> I'm so. Ah! Where, are you, where are you going to? I'm going. I've not paid you. <laughs> Mama, you don't need to worry yourself. No, no, the no, the no, food no. and that advice is okay for me now. No, 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 no. I know you enjoy the food. But you see, the money is very important. For that wonderful job you did out there, no, I have to compensate you. I have to pay you something for it. And this is what I have for you, if I. Hey. This is actually coming from the depths of my heart. As in, from me to you. This is from my heart. Mom, all this money? Yes. For me? Yes. Oh, <laughs> enter. Enter very well. If I. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. You are welcome, my son. You. you are very welcome. Very you are welcome. Mm -hmm. Uh, hey, when you get home, please send me word to your mom and your dad and everybody in the house. Hmm? Tell them that I send my greetings. Hmm? All right. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. When you get home, greet your parents. Okay. Hmm? Send me well to your sisters and okay. other in the house. Yeah? Oh, my
I really don't want you to misunderstand this. I come. I come with good intentions. Everything I've come here to do is for a better tomorrow. I come with a reason to make sure that I don't plant in another man's farm. To take from the same place my place. So that when the when food is coming back, it will be a dividend to the family. I come to take him to Tony Chan. To train him and make him look like other men, even grow bigger than I am today. Uncle, why don't you take a second thought? Look into this thing very well. And don't, don't forget that you, you Ed, has made it clear that there's no too much talk in the evening mass. Hmm? You're all right. So please take a look at these words. I give it under thought. Um, Izuka, I thank you so much for your plans about my child. I'm so grateful. But I want you to put one thing into your head. A lion, they say, begets a lion. Yeah, that's true. And the son of a lion does not eat grasses. Oh, no. No, it doesn't happen. Oh, so that, that I know. A good father always happens good plans for his children. And that plan is what all of them must be educated. Like myself. That's why I told you that a lion begets a lion. I am educated. Therefore, they will all be educated. Not going into business. Even if they will go into business, not now. But they will first of all be educated. Uncle, your intentions for your children are generally clear. Every good father deserves the best, plans the best for their children. But Uncle, I still want you to look into these words. It is true they say that worse could have different tastes in the morning. But when the evening comes, the taste will definitely change. Uncle, for now, let us migrate. I am sure that by the time we hear again from you, things will change. Huh? Oh, for sake. Hey! How are you? I, I come with intelligence. Please do, do, do talk to me. I'm sure somehow. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problems. I'll discuss with my husband. Please help us. Okay. It's okay. It's alright. If I were you, I wouldn't be wasting my time. <laughs> Uncle, I know because you. my mind is made up. I know you. 
But I know the wine will change its taste by evening time. I believe so. I don't think so. I, I not every wine. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll tell all right. you now. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay, well, thank you. Okay. It's all right. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, good friend. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My great husband, I want you to consider what Izuka and the mother said. I just want you to consider it. Left for me alone. I want Ifani, our son, to go with him. Do you know why? Ifani said he does not want to go to school again. Please do me this favor. Instead of Ifani to be playing football, yes. He knows how to play football, but there is no feature in football. He cannot get, a, get anything out of it. He said he does not want to go to school. He wants to go and hustle and get money and train uh, 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 his siblings. Is it not better he helps us than staying in the house, playing football? Please, consider it. Please, do me this favor. I've never begged you for anything. Do me this favor. I want my son to go out of this village. Please, I don't want you to say no again. Please, let him go with them. Um, I've heard you. Coming to what you said that uh, football has no future. No future, no future at all. That one who plays football has no future, I agree with you. That one is completely accepted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But let me remind you one thing. It is said that lion begets a lion. You're right. And that the son of a lion does not eat grasses. You're right. That is very clear. Mm -hmm. Now tell me how after our education, you are you, you are a teacher, I am a teacher. And you want me to give out my, my, my son into business. When I have planned that all of them must be educated. And you are, now you are telling me that if you go into buying and selling. No, 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 no. It is not proper. Even if he said that uh, he's going into uh, 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 trading, where are his parents? Mm. We need to guide him. Do you know our plans? And the most painful thing is that this boy is very brilliant. I know. He's very, very brilliant. Very, very articulate. Very and brilliant. you want me now to send him furniture to go and waste him. Is that, is, that, is, that, is that a good future we are building for him? He is not going to waste. But I want to make it clear. Now, if I he said he does not want to go to school, I want you to have that at the back of your mind. He said, and I quote, he does not want to go to school. Instead of if I he to stay in the house, in this village, and play football, that he's got no future. No future. Okay, choose between... He's staying in the village, playing football, and going to Anita. I want you to sleep over it. Sleep over it because I want my son to go to Anita with Izuna no, or Izu, Izuka. That is his name. Look at him. Looking nice, looking pretty, looking handsome. I want my son to look like that. Please, sleep over it too. I'm going into the house. Mm -hmm. Sleep over it.
Mina, is there anything the matter? Nothing. Hmm. Mina, please stop lying to me because it tells on you, even an unborn knows that you're lying. If you have a problem, say it. I'm ready to listen. I don't have a problem. And you think I'll buy that? I am not leaving this room until you tell me what your problem is. Because you've not been yourself since we left in the shopping mall. Mom. Mm -hmm. The man we met at the mall. Mm -hmm. That. What does he want? Sweetheart, come on. You know what men want. But he can't have it. But you gave him your number. I did, yes. I did that to get him off my back. And then he will call and call till you will be left with no choice but to give him a chance. <laughs> he will call me, sure. It is certain. But he won't get what he wants. Trust me. Come on. I assure you that no one can come between us. No one, even my mother, can't separate the love we share. So relax. Give me that smile, come on. That's my baby girl. <laughs> I'll be in the kitchen. I want to make up your soup. Okay. Do you mind joining me? I will. I'll also be there to watch over you before someone else steal you. <laughs> this girl. Come on, give me space. No, thank you. I'll be waiting for you to teach you. Hello. Good evening. Yeah, uh, Jane. <laughs> sure. And you are? <laughs> this is Edwin. Yeah, the guy that met you at the supermarket. 
Edwin. Oh, Edwin, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Super fine. Um, sorry, no, I told you I was going to call you. So, so how is your daughter? I hope she's fine. It's okay. Uh, you see, Jane, um, I don't really know how to say this, but I think I'll have to say it because I'm a very straightforward person. I must say, you really touched my life just for the first time I saw you. You're welcome. I know, that moment I saw you, I I just realized what I would do with my life. I just realized I would spend my whole life loving you. I don't even know why I felt that way. I, it just made me remember what Celine Dion sang in one of our tracks that uh, love doesn't ask why, it speaks from the heart and never explains. I know something about love. It is just something we cannot touch. Edwin, please, stop flattering me. I easily get uncomfortable with that. Love is something we cannot even hear. It's only something we can feel. And that is exactly what I felt the time I saw you. And I know if you give me a chance in your life, I'll make you the happiest woman on earth. I might not be the type of Hello, Sleeping Beauty. Wakey, wakey. Sweetheart, are you still sleeping? Come on, wake up. Mommy is going out. How are you this morning? What is this? You're looking glamorous. Mwah, baby. <laughs> Are you up to somewhere? Yes, love. I have an important appointment. You will do breakfast. Hmm? I'll be back in a few. Love you. Love you. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Could it be what I am thinking? Could it be what I'm thinking?
I know where you're going to. But it's not fair. We've never eaten differently in this house. Now you want me to have breakfast alone all because you are going to see a special friend of yours. I know you're going to see him. But it's fine. No problem. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Hmm? Come, let's go and do breakfast. Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome. I'm so happy you're staying back. I am happy to love. Stop crying, okay? 
Vamos ver. Edwin. Yeah, I hope so. How do you know I'm here? Well, I was driving by and uh, I recognized your car, so I decided to come in to say hi and to really express my disappointment about what you did yesterday. I wasn't really hurt because you did not come, but I was hurt because you refused to pick my clothes. And about the time I thought something was wrong. Well, why did you want to pick my clothes? Edwin, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I know you won't understand. What you're asking me is something that has to do with the matters of the heart. If I had come yesterday, it would lead us where I am not ready to go. Please. I, I understand, Jane. I'm really scared of what you are scared of. That's just the truth. I've decided not to have anything to do with anyone. But the moment I saw you, I changed my mind. Edwin, please! Jane! Alright, I'm really sorry for disturbing your discussion. So take care of yourself, Jane. Jane! Who is him? I met him here the other day that I came to do shopping with Nina. So. He took my number and um, we agreed to do lunch. But you need her now with her problems. She messed it up. Jane! And I don't want to be intrusive. But I am beginning to get worried about you. How could you allow Lena to mess up your love life? She scares every man that comes around to you. No, 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 Jane. It is time you really need to deal with this Nina's madness. You have to. You should know by now that Nina's happiness has been my priority. I love her so much. She's all I've got. I don't have any other person since her father died. So, I don't know what to do honestly. Though it pains me to see men that I love walk away because of her attitude. But what can I do? Jane, I understand. But you can't continue this way. You have to find a way. Make her understand that she is hurting you.
I was trying to sound uh, clean at what to do in the kitchen. Yes. How is business? Very fine. Mm. And how is your family? My guess. We are happy. Yes. Your friend came back. Your friend, My friend. No? Mm -hmm. My friend. What do you mean my friend came back? Uh, didn't you know your friend again? Wait, Edwin? Yes! I'm listening. So, he told me, if you will allow him to come close to Lena, he is going to treat her like a daughter. I think my friend, you better give him a chance. Yes. Give him a chance. He is ready to do everything possible for this relationship to work out. <laughs> Obi, and you believed him? Of course. Obi, you know men. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. You don't know what to say? For crying out loud, give this young man a chance into your life. Hmm. Give him a chance. I believe that he will make things work out. That is all I'm asking. I don't think, think anything wrong about it. So you want me to give him a chance? Yes, give him a chance. <clears throat> Hello, dear. Good day. Good day. How are you? I'm fine. Is the phone ready? Yeah, food is ready. All right. I will join you in a different. Okay, let's turn it. Thank you, my dear. Has not been long. I will go back to my shop. Okay, if you say so. Let me see you off then. Going out mm -hmm. to see your friend Obi, I guess. Mm -hmm. I just don't like that lady. Why? I don't know, but I don't like her. The other day she came to this house, mm -hmm. you both were discussing. Immediately she saw me, she just kept quiet, and her facial expression was. Showing obviously that she was saying something she doesn't want me to hear. She just acted like a gossip. I don't like her. So? So? Must you hear and know everything? I don't want to hear this rubbish again from your mouth. Do you get that? If you don't love her, do with it. And I'm sorry, Mom. Better. You know, I am really glad you you came. Honestly. <clears throat> I've not really stopped thinking about you. I 
like I said, Jane, I want you to give me a chance in your life. I love you very much. Like very, very much that sometimes it drives me crazy. Edwin, it's not about giving you a chance. It's about my. Like, I understand, I understand. Your friend told me everything. She did. Told me everything about your daughter. See, if you give me this opportunity, your daughter won't even be a problem. Because I'll find a way to get through to your daughter and I'll make her to start respecting your feelings. You don't understand, do you? Then make me understand. Nina is a very difficult person. Very difficult. Do I tell me to be my mistake? Because I've always treated her like a princess since the death of her father. Any man that comes around me is God, sir. So, she's all I've got. She's my priority. I want to do everything in my power to make her happy. I have been treating her like a princess. Um, see, Jane, you did the right thing. You really did the right thing. All I'm asking is for you to give me an opportunity to be part of this family. I came from um, a very poor family. Wretched, very wretched. We hardly eat a meal. The first brother went to Lagos to learn a trade. He made it and came back with a car. In fact, he was the first to buy a car in my kindred. So it was celebrated. After the celebration and all whatnot, he went back to Lagos. And my parents were infected with an elephantitis. They suffered and died. After some years, I lost my older brother in an accident. I was left with the responsibility of training my two surviving siblings till my husband, my late husband, that's Nina's father, came and married me. But life is too short. My husband left untimely, leaving me alone with my only girl. So it made me understand that Anything can happen at any time in life. I've seen, I've suffered, I've gone through pains and hard times. I decided never to remarry until I came in contact with you. Because I'm seeing you as a gentleman. That was quite a story. Very, very passionate. Looks like we have lots of broken pieces of our life to pick together. Mm. This is why I want us to move on together. Jane, give me a chance in your life. I'll bring back happiness to you. I'll make you the happiest woman on earth. I'll be a father to Nina. Okay, let's try. Is that a yes?
Because I'm your daughter. <sighs> no. It goes beyond that. Come. Because you are the best daughter in the whole world. Oh no. Honestly. <laughs> This really means a lot to me. Thank you very much, Mom. You're welcome, Silva. I will do everything in my power to make sure that you are happy. Mom, you've done a lot already. You are the best mom in the world. Thank you, sweetheart. But there's something I want to beg of you. Of course, you know I would do anything for you. Are you sure? No. You should know that. Good. You know, Lord. Mom. Edwin is a good friend. So, I wanted to see him as an uncle, a dad, a friend. You know? Nina. I mentioned your name, she walked out on me. Has it gotten to this extent? What do we do? Um, the late father, your husband, what was the relationship like with Nina? He treated her like a princess. I see. Where and where did he used to take her out when they wanted to hang out? Ice cream spot. Oh. She likes ice cream. And chocolate. Hmm. I see. Uh, everything is solved. And we've got her. You can't be sure. Ah, trust me, baby. Relax, leave everything for me. I am the master of your plan here. <laughs> I love you, baby. Same here.
Uh, Nina, I am not here to take away your happiness, but to add to it. I love your mother very, very much, and I love you too. I see you as my daughter, and I hope to take you as well. My interest for your family is for good. I don't mean any harm. While I try to convince you to allow me to treat you like my own daughter, I still acknowledge the fact that uh, sometimes things don't go our way. But I hope someday you will understand that I really care. Tell your mom that I came. I bought you chocolate. Bye. Her friend came today. Mm, Obi. She didn't care to call before coming. It's not a she. I'm talking about Obi. School. Edwin. What? Edwin came here after all the warning. What is wrong with that man? I want him never to come to my house and he didn't listen. Why? Sweetie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, love. I'll make sure he will never come here again. Trust me. Mom, calm down. Could you believe he was coming today and, and he bought me chocolate? Hmm. He also promised to treat me like a daughter. I promise he would always be nice to me. Wait, 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 wait. It won't be fast. Edwin bought chocolate for you. I'm surprised myself. Did you ever tell him I like chocolate? No. No. Do you see? It means he's a nice person. Yeah. I perceive that. My only fear is. The nightmare I told you about. Come on, sweetheart. It was just a nightmare. See, Edwin is a nice person. And there's something special I found in him before accepting him as my friend. And I'll be delighted if you do so. Will you? Yeah, I have those mixed feelings, but then... Let's see how it goes. No. Nina, if you're not comfortable with him around, I can tell him to stop coming. No, mom, stop. Don't don't stop him. Okay? Forget it. Let's let him be. For the meantime, you should keep coming. Then as time goes on, we'll get to know the kind of person he truly is. Are you sure? That's right. Come here. <laughs> Thank you, love. Thank you, love. Do you mind sleeping here? Yes! Oh, good night! <laughs>
What am I guess? Just guess. Guess anything. Come Just on, guess. tell me. I don't like it. Anything. What is going on? Your tricks on Nina is working. For real? <laughs> Honestly. Tell me about it. You know, I pretended that I didn't know you came to the house. Uh -huh. So when she said that, I freaked out. I said, why? Why are you in my house? What are you doing? This, that. <laughs> After every, every, I promised her that you would never come again. Surprisingly, she said, so far you'll be buying her chocolate and treat her fine like the sweet father did. <laughs> you are free to come anytime. I was so, 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 so. <laughs> this is great news. Honestly, this is great. I am surprised. This is the first time she's accepting anybody that is not a late father. You know, when I told you, when I brought up the plan, I told you this thing was going to work. You were doubting me. Yes, I doubted you. You see the result? I'm a master planner. You. You. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what will happen. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Um, you know that you'll be coming to the house to get familiar with Nina, and um, always buy her chocolate when coming. Like I told you the other day, she likes chocolate and ice cream. Yeah, a lot. So. And it reminds her of her little father. That won't be a problem at all. It won't be a problem. I really want to use this opportunity to thank you for giving me this chance. I really appreciate it. I'm so grateful. <laughs> it's all right. And um, thank you so much for your understanding. Well, I should be thanking you for your understanding. Seriously. And, uh, I love you very much. I love you too. So, as I was saying, the contract I told you about mm -hmm. in the Jamaica. Uh, I got the call from them, so they asked me to come to the office to uh, fill the necessary uh, form of paper and to do some signings. So okay. maybe from there I'll, I'll, head, I'll be heading there to, to see them so that we sell the contract. I just hope it goes true. Why not? It will. Trust me. It will. And when it does, Hey, 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 please. I don't like that. No, no, you don't flatter me. Please, don't. I will take you out from this country, You wanted to bribe me and deceive me, Abby. Today you're coming and you didn't come with chocolate. No problem now. It's okay. Come on, Nina. Is that why you walked up? Um, you know what will happen now? I want us to play a game. We like this game. You like games, right? I am. 
close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Trust me. understand I have a pretty daughter like you. Wow. You look amazing. Thank you. I knew you are this pretty. What is going on here? Well, I'm going to me out. Oh, interesting. In that case, let me go and dress up and join you people. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yes, stay pure. This one is between me and Nina. You are not involved. Just stay in the house and get something to cook. Nina, maybe while coming back, you get her something. How was the day? It was okay, yours. Super fine. And uh, what is going on? Actually, everything is okay. Dad wants to take me out, so I'm going in there to get dressed for Dad to take me around town. <laughs> oh, splendid! Yes. So mm. I'll go into my room and dress up, so that we yes. will all go. No, it's my love. This time around is between me and my daughter. Let me take her out alone next time. Two of us can go. Sorry, mom. Just don't worry about my duties, mommy. We'll cry. Don't so, so, respect myself. It's good you do.
Help me thank Uncle Edwin. He really made my day. Uncle Edwin. Thank you so, so much on Nina's behalf. You really made her day. Look at how you are even talking to us if you are a complicator. Oh, it's nothing. Um, I run along right now. Somebody's actually waiting for me. No, please, let me get you something. Have you seen yours? I just took my daughter out. I uh, really have four. It's lots and lots, so I'm filled up. You can say that again. I see. So right now, you can excuse me. You have four. I'll see you later. Jim. Mom. Yes, dear. He's so nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. So loving, caring, so much like dad. Wow. Yes. If you see what happens today, the type of things he bought for me. Oh. It reminds me of dad. It made me have this feel that I got my dad back. So tell me, is that what attracted you to me? Yes. The feeling of getting your dad back. Exactly. Um, he's part of us now. Sweetheart, I'm so glad to hear you say this. <laughs> Tell me more if you have. I'll be my own. Tell me more. No, leave me alone.
Are you sure you're ready for this relationship? Hey, come on, sweetheart. Why would you say that? Of course, you know I'm ready for this relationship. So tell me, why did you stop responding to my chat last night while you were still online? Ah. And it was so obvious that you were chatting with someone else. See, if you're not ready for this relationship, tell me on time, let's call it a bit. I don't want any heartbreak. I told you before now. Stop saying this. Yes, uh, I'm really sorry you were chatting and I wasn't responding. But I was only chatting with Nina. Nina? Yes. Are you sure? When I came home, I was so weak. I wanted to sleep. And Nina was like, I should tell her a story so that she could sleep. So I was typing the story. And you know what it takes to type a story. So it took so long that I wasn't really responding to your chat. Yes. Hmm. I'm sorry about that. Come on. Who were you thinking I was even chatting with? Come on, I know men. I know men. Yeah, man. But some men are really different, you know. Mm, like you. Well, well. Well what? Well, if you say so, but you know now. If I say so. You know, you know now. I know, no, no, what? So we're cool now. I'm oh, sorry. Now, you know what? From this point of time. I know you. 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 So, um, Why is your face like that? Why not happy? You people want to leave me in this house all alone. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, in that case, you're not supposed to be sad because of that. Or oh, you're going to dress up. Let's go together. Come on. Come on, dress up. Thank you. I'll be back. Care about me anymore. She don't have time for me anymore. It's not fair. It just looks like you and mom just want to use me to solidify your relationship. Call me. Call me. Stop saying that. We're talking about your mom now. You know, I care very much. I care very much for your mom, I care very much for you. And come on, she's your mom for talking out of my heart. But you. then you said you were going to take care of me. Is this how you want to do it? Nina, come here. Come. It's okay. You don't just get walked up because I'm spending some time with your mom. Come on, it's wrong. I promised I'm going to take good care of you. I'll take good, good care of you. Just. I've. Be patient down there. I want you to trust me. Are you sure about that? I am very, very sure. I promise. Uh, uh, Nina, I have to go right now. Your mom will be waiting for me. Please. okay.
Hello, sweet. Hello, boy. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. I'm just here thinking about your home rescue. <laughs> I started missing you immediately you left. Are you serious? I miss you very much too. I, I was missing you since I couldn't even sleep. I can't even concentrate any longer. I only think about you. Hello, hold on, baby. Don't slow down. Don't, don't drop the ball. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Hello, Nina. How are you? No, I'm not too. Uh, I'm still awake. I was doing one of the things. You, why haven't you stayed? Seriously, I miss you very much, too. Very, very much. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Uh, let me see what happens. Huh? I have one or two programs that I want to do tomorrow. So once I'm done with them, definitely I'll, I'll come, right? Nice, nice. <laughs> I wish you very much too. So sleep tight. Good night, huh? Bye. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Who were you on the phone now? Because I heard what you said to her and don't lie to me. Come on, stop, Jean. I was only talking to Nina. Nina? Yeah, she was a person that called. Come on, who are you thinking of? It can't be me. It's not possible. No? It's not Nina. What about Nina? Hello? Hello? So you're already missing him. No. You know he's a nice person. I'm only trying to be nice to him. But you know we are lucky to have him in our lives.
Why did you display that? You know I don't like it when I see you and my mom together. It makes me go jealous. It's you and I that is supposed to be in, in, in such romantic position. No, wait. By now you think I don't know that. I do. But I'm just taking my time. I'm, I'm being very careful. I'm being very cautious. I don't want to hurt your mom. She's your mom for crying out loud. I don't want any problem with her right I now. don't care. Come on, Mina. You should care. She's your mom. And I'm sure you love your mom very much. I ask you. Just trust me. Everything will be fine. I just want to leave your mom cry for me. I don't want to do the least. And concentrate on you. It will be just me and you. And nobody will be there to disturb or interfere with our relationship. So I need you to be very patient with me. Are you sure about me? Come on, trust me, baby. Trust me. I will be fine. Now give me that smile. I'll see you later. Run along, I'll see you later. Be Hey, my baby. Baby, what's up now? Come on, so why is your face like this? There's no problem. I came for an important thing. Okay, I hope there's no problem. Not at all. So what is it? I want you to go tell how you visit Nina. If so, stop visiting the house for her. Sweetheart, you came in and I asked you if there was a problem you said. Uh, right now you're mentioning Nina and all that. Come on, what is going on? Obviously there is a problem. Edwin, there's no problem. I want her to concentrate on her stories. She'll be taking her jumbo exam soon. And 
She's been carried away with the attention you're giving her. I don't like it. She can do it for me, please. Okay. No problem. If they should make you happy, then she will not do that for me. You know, I will always do whatever to make you happy. If you don't want me to come to the house, you don't want me to see Nina again, there's no problem. I won't do that again, provided you will be happy. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Just like No pieces. Your jump examinations comes up in less than two months. And you have not been reading your books as you ought to. You know, I want you to concentrate on your studies first. Mom, going out with Uncle Levin does not stop me from reading my books in any way. Do you call this reading? You are reading and chatting at the same time. Don't you want to go to the university? Mom, I can't. What makes it impossible? What? Listen, young girl, I want you to stop seeing Edwin. I want you to stop seeing him. I can't, Mom. You will! Mom! Yes! What? I was in my own when you started imposing him on me. You forced me to like him. You forced me to accept him into our lives. And now that I'm so used to him, he has even made me forget everything concerning my late father. Now you want me to stop going out with him. I'm sorry, Mom, I can't. Nina, you will. You have to. And you will do it. Are you saying that I can't give instructions in this house again? You heard me. Yes, I did. Why? Begging you. In less than two months, Nina will be taking her jump examinations. And so? She has not been reading her books. It has been chatting on some going out to ice cream spots. I want her to concentrate on her books. No, 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 Jane. I'm trying to tell you. Just because you want Lena to concentrate on her books, 
That's why ask Edwin to stop going out with him. Yes. Oh, is there another thing you are not telling me? No. Are you sure? Very much. Jeez! It's weird that you're running temperature and you didn't care to tell. Oh my god. Oh love, I'm so sorry. Let me get my car key to take you to the hospital, okay? Hey. Edwin, where did I wrong you? She's old enough to be your daughter. Is this what you wanted from me? Nina is pregnant. Thank you. 